Craig Harden, Vice President of Radical Axis. We were cleaning out some of our human waste traps installed in and around our studio recently and came across this, an old web series. <laughs> this particular episode happens to do with our studio, Radical Axis. It dates back almost an entire year. Isn't it funny to see just how much technology has changed in over a year? All right, cut. Please enjoy this behind-the-scenes look at Radical Axis. Titans of Industry with host Brett Danielson. Tonight's episode, Radical Axis Studios. Well, hello. I'm Pulitzer Prize-winning reporter Brett Danielson. Have you ever wondered how animation works? Of course not. No one has. At any rate, we're standing out here in front of the Radical Access Animatorium where they create the Emmy Award-winning, the highly acclaimed, I, well, what should I say? Has anyone ever seen this show? The Aqua Hungry Teen Program for children. I'm going to take you behind these closed doors that until now have been barred to the public. This has been an impenetrable fortress. Nary a soul from the outside world is able to get into this building until this very moment. Now, please, come with me inside and we'll check out the goings-on. With the concrete floors and exposed brick, it'd be easy for someone to mistake this place as a home for illegitimate unwanted children. But no, this is an actual working cartoonery. It is on the outskirts of town, so the occasional illegitimate child is dropped off at the front door. But they're dealt with promptly. This is Scott Fry. He's the president and CEO of Radical Axis. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Scott? Which you Thanks, Scott. That was very informative. Now let's take a look at how Radical Access manufactures what they've coined as cartoonimation. Now let's take a quick look at the animation process. The very boring process starts with a script. It's the job of series creator Matt Malero and Dave Willis to come up with the funny stories. Their third grade education really comes in handy here. First, character designs are painstakingly illustrated by skilled day laborers. The director now breaks down the action of the script, which often can be difficult with all the horrible grammar and spelling mistakes. Here we see Craig Harden acting out a scene as a visual aid for the animator. This simple looking fellow is an animator. He is using the front of his face as reference. Personally, I think he looks like an idiot. Days later, the animated sequence is finished. Amazing. It's like Satan himself breathed life onto the paper. Let's move along to the test camera department. Here, each drawing is photographinated. Now the sequence can be viewed and mocked by the staff. This pretty girl takes some mediocre drawings from the animator and inks them. Then each drawing is fed into the computating device. The drawings are now actually inside the computer. F*** you, science fiction. It's time to paint the image. This requires the precision of a room full of Korean children. Now the newly painted images must be scanergized into the computer using this completely safe nuclear emission particle accelerator. Don't look now, but there's Bob Pettit. He's painted the backgrounds for the teens from Aqua Hungry High School for over 75 years. Give them hell, Bob. Next, it's time for compositors Josh and Nate to take these images and manipulate them, just like our government does with us. God bless America. The freshly composited scenes are shipped off to the render farm, where free-range computers assemble the complex electronical data. These people also work at Radical, but they are much less significant. And that's how Radical Access Studio creates Hungry Teen Dance Party. Join me, Rhett Danielson, Titans of Industry. Titans of Industry is brought to you by Dr. Phineas's Health Sticks.